log base a of x to the r power is equal to r times log base a of x. This is true when a and x are positive, a does not equal 1, and r is a real number. We call this the logarithmic power rule. Let's walk through two examples where we go from the form on the left to the form on the right, and one where we go from the form on the right to the form on the left. Consider log base 4 of x plus 1 all raised to the third power. This currently matches the form on the left-hand side of the rule. We can use this rule to bring the power of x plus 1 out in front of the logarithm, so we bring 3 outside and multiply it by log base 4 of x plus 1. Basically, whatever was raised to the power within the logarithm remains inside the logarithm when moving from the left-hand side to the right-hand side of the rule. Now, let's go from the right side to the left side of the rule. Consider 15 times log base 10 of y. When we have a real valued term or constant multiplied by a logarithm, we can bring it inside the logarithm by raising everything inside to the power of the real valued term or constant. So we bring 15 inside and make it the power of what was inside the logarithm over here, which was y. So using the rule in this direction, we get 15 times log base 10 of y is equal to log base 10 of y to the 15th power. Ultimately, to go from the left to the right side, we can move the power outside if everything inside the logarithm is raised to that power. To go from the right side to the left side of the rule, we can bring real valued terms or constants multiplied by the logarithm inside. We do this by raising everything inside the logarithm to the power of the term or constant that is multiplied outside.